welcome back to Hasbro's High. Just a quick video setting up for uh, 308 brass, 308 Winchester brass, and in fact it's 308 Winchester brand brass we're going to run uh, now. So I've already set this up, but I want to show you. We're going to run one with uh, Temple X650 on it. You can see it's in the mouth and across the top of the case. So we see how far it goes. Uh, I already know these should be good, and so we're going to go ahead and run the rest of these all the way through. And you'll see everything then from the Temple Act test all the way through this brass. We'll compare them in the end. So let's get going. Uh, I've also, just to mention, lowered the speed to uh, 48, 50%, but I think I'm going to go to 48%. And so we'll do that real quick. Uh, just based on the Temple Act testing I've already done. So we'll start there and then we'll review this and we'll check them all out when they're done. As another note, I did versus the 223 brass, I have to move the torch just slightly away and then uh, out just a little bit so we make sure that the tip of the blue flame the very tip here that you can see is hitting right at the junction of the case neck the case uh, the shoulder and the neck so the blue tip of flame is hitting literally right there I don't know if you noticed there, but this was slipping, the, the heavier brass was slipping just a little bit on the wheel. That probably means we have to adjust this a little bit. I've set it only about a sixteenth of an inch away from the wheel. It still made full revolutions, but not quite as smooth as the others had, had done. So I may make adjustment for now. We'll leave it and see how they do. Alright, you can see the brass we just ran through that just barely cooled down. And you can see this is the one with the temple axe. And you can see how far we went down and reached at least 650 degrees to about this point here. But the rest then you see have come down about three eighths of an inch or so down from the shoulder down uh, the case. And they're all very consistent. Color looks good. There's no significant bluing. Maybe could use a little more time, but not too bad. And uh, we'll do some testing on the range later on to see how well uh, these perform versus non annealed brass. But I thought you'd like to see just a quick test of Winchester 308 on the Anneals 2.0 with the countermod.